Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a little bit of a sort of mini haul from all the different places video today. And it's going to be kind of random. Um, I'm going to start off today with something that I actually got a week and a half ago that I kept leaving in the car. I kept forgetting it in there. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's so squishy. Um, I got this at a truck stop. <laughs> Hubby and I, when we go driving around, um, if you get on 85 a little bit, there are a couple of truck stops there. We usually stop at one of them to get a beverage. You just go in and, you know, get a beverage to, to have on your way when you're, when you're making your little travels, okay? They also have all kinds of gifts. This was marked down to like 75% off. It cost me less than $4 for this big old guy. This is an actual Thai squishy. Squishy a booze, it says. Okay, and this is Giselle. On my crown, you'll see a horn. Do you think I'm a unicorn? Uh, my birthday is May 12th, it says. But I just think it is so nice and so colorful and so squishy. And I don't know if I'm keeping it or if it's going to be part of a giveaway. We will find out eventually. Okay, and I have a bag for this, but I have crumbled up the bag. So crinkle alert, as my friend Ashley would say back of the bag you go so that you don't get dirty okay now we also went to Cracker Barrel Cracker Barrel if you're not in America is a place that is generally near interstates um, it's a place to stop and get sort of country style food and they've got gift shop and, and all kinds of fun crazy stuff and old-fashioned foods and things and I picked up a few things while I was there Oh my goodness. Okay. This was not from there. That's from the other school. I picked up, which they're already open because I have eaten some, because I love them. These are Crybaby Tears, extra sour candy. Um, they are pretty sour. And if you eat too many of them, they will actually erode the enamel on your teeth very, very quickly because of all the citric acid on the outside. So... <clears throat> Don't eat a bunch of them at once. I have a few, and then I'm like, ooh, because I love sour, and I eat them there. Okay. They also had peeps on sale, so there will be more peeps tries through this week. Um, this is a filled peeps. Donut shop coffee, filled peeps delights, caramel latte, or excuse me, caramel mocha. Okay. And yes, they were on sale. I did not pay full price for this at all because you know your girl's cheap. And there's three peeps in there and they're brown and caramel mocha colored. These are not brown and or caramel mocha colored. These are sparkly wild berry. Why the peeps obsession all of a sudden? I don't know. It started with the hot tamales, y'all. And then I had to have more. Okay, that goes back in the bag for a little bit later because that was Cracker Barrel. And then what had happened was on Saturday, we went to Five Below. We were headed to Anderson, which is the, 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 the bigger town as we head into South Carolina from Georgia. It's before you get to Greenville. And they have a Five Below there. And I love to just walk around and see what I can find and buy a lot of unnecessary crap. Okay, that's pretty much my excuse for going to Five Below. Um, there were peeps there. <laughs> this one is milk chocolate covered marshmallow. We'll see what that's all about. The hubby actually found these. Yes, that is a golden girl. Blanche's Southern Charm Mints. Keeps your mouth ready for anything. And it says, stay golden mints. And there are mints in there. I don't know what the mints are like, but it's a little tin full of mints. And the hubby actually picked one that was a Bob Ross themed. And he took it someplace and he's put it away. So there is that. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot two things that I picked up at Cracker Barrel that I don't want to forget to tell you about. Key lime soda. Yes, that's mine. And this belongs to the hubby red cream soda so the well at least one of them will be on a taste test at some point this week they were right in front of me and then i forgot to tell you about them because der. all right more from five below because y'all know if you've been around here for a minute i am attempting gardening type things 
So I thought there are two books in here in this little packet that was five dollars. First Time Gardener, Growing Plants and Flowers. But more importantly, this side, Growing Vegetables. All the know-how and encouragement you need to grow and fall in love with your brand new food garden. So we'll see if that helps at all. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I also picked up two more things at Five Below and they are related and I think that it'll be fun to play with these. These are trivia games, trivia cards. All right, this one is trivia from the 2010s, the 2000s, of the 80s and the 90s, okay? A little blast from the past for some of y'all. For some of us, we still live it. Yeah, okay. And the other one is um, music trivia, say what you see, sports trivia, that one won't get a lot of action in this house, and movie trivia. So they're all ages eight plus. They all have 40 game cards included or trivia cards, you know, whichever, depending. And yeah. I think that'll be kind of fun to fiddle around with. Trivia is always a good time. It doesn't take running around the house or anything crazy like that. There is one more thing to show you today, and that is some happy mail. I won from Garden State Gardener. If you're unfamiliar with Garden State Gardener, there is the logo from Joe, the Garden State Gardener, and he does big giveaways on Sundays for Sunday Fun Day, and he also does Pierogi Monday. So you have two different chances to win through the week, and he gives away seeds and other prizes. This time, I happen to win uh, some seeds, and when you win something from Joe, you get the paper that says this, congratulations from the Garden State Gardener, okay? And you also get whatever it is that you won. And this one time, I won, seeds okay because i asked for grab bag they, they always have a choice of different categories or grab bag and i was like what the hey i'll get a grab bag and this is honeydew melon stutz supreme okay i don't know if i can figure out how to grow a honeydew melon or two but i guess we're gonna see put these over here with my other seeds so that is the sort of a mini haul slash a happy mail that I have for this week. So yes, I did get to do a little bit of shopping, a little bit of retail therapy, cruising around the store a little bit, and it was good. It's always good. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Uh, you may have seen a playlist pop up above your head of um, other shopping hauls and happy nails because whenever I do them, I put them in a playlist just in case you like to watch that sort of thing. Appreciate you coming by. If you could hit that like button on your way out, that would be awesome. If you're not subscribed, hey, click the button, ring the bell. You never know what you're going to find when you come over here. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.